The non-stable multivibrator is always a very interesting circuit. It's a square wave oscillator and the frequency is set by this capacitor here and this capacitor here. Uh, I mentioned both capacitors CX because when you uh, take the same values for this capacitor the waveform also is um, equally divided. So the pulse pause ratio is the same. But when you change the value from one of the capacitors the pulse pause ratio is not the same. So the duty cycle varies when we change one of the capacities here, capacitance here. And in this uh, experiment um, I've made uh, some changes to the standard circuit. At first uh, it's also important to know that this resistan resistance here from the base to the positive lead uh, has an enormous effect on the frequency. Ch when you change that resistance the frequency also changes. And uh, not only the frequency but also the duty cycle changes. And when we connect parallel to that important uh, resistor here, a transistor, and we set that transistor into conduction, we can also change the duty cycle from the circuit. And we can modulate uh, that duty cycle by uh, inserting a signal to the base from the uh, driver transistor here, this transistor. And for people interested uh, in making sounds, um, this is perhaps an interesting circuit. I've made a small setup here. This is the circuit that I've showed. Two transistors, both BC547B. And here is the signal tracer. And um, I made two experimental setups. Uh, this is one from the experimental setups. Here we change the, the value from the, the resistor that goes from the base to the positive lead. And here we change the capacitance. Both transistors are set here to a certain frequency. A certain duty cycle and uh, by changing one of the capaci uh, capacities in the circuit here uh, we can also change the waveform and the duty cycle. And the interesting thing is that we can also make uh, a lot of strange waveforms. This transistor is driven into a saturation. Uh, it affects, it acts as a resistor, resistance. So this capacitor here is connected more or less via a resistance to the base. And when we modulate this transistor at its base, we can also modulate uh, the duty cycle. In this circuit. Both uh, schematics are present, and this is what you hear when you connect, um, when you make this circuit. I modulate now the transistor here on its base by a sine wave generator sine wave, this generator, and this is what happens when I change the sine wave on its frequency.
Now I modulate the circuit with a frequency from approximately 17,000 hertz sine wave. Hundred kilohertz, approximately. Okay, that was uh, this circuit. And now I go to this circuit, and I'm gonna change the uh, duty cycle from the first transistor. I connect now the crocodile clip to the base from the first transistor, it's here, and this is what we see, and this is what we hear. Now I change the sine wave, And now I change the value from this potentiometer here. And I, I'm also going to change the sine wave. So when you need a, a needle pulse generator this is a very good circuit. Okay, I switch it off. The sound is not uh, very uh, agreeable, I think. But uh, it's an interesting circuit for all people that like to do experiments with uh, sounds. And I also found very, very peculiar sounds and waveforms. It's more or less impossible to um, demonstrate it now. But uh, for people interested in strange sounds, uh, this is an interesting circuit to do experiments with.